I have a nifty word problem for you. You might find it silly in the end, but uh, it's nevertheless interesting. If I had two thermometers, one being a Fahrenheit and one being a Celsius thermometer, what temperature does it have to be for those two thermometers to say the same value? It doesn't really have any real world practicality, but uh, it is nevertheless true that there is a temperature that uh, you can say get your get the outside down to like if it got a certain temperature I don't want to give it away uh, that your two te your two thermometers will say the same number and you could say what temperature is it and you, and there someone would say is that Fahrenheit or Celsius and you could say yes what kinds of things do you know about Celsius and Fahrenheit so these two images on your on your screen what do they what do they mean stuff is frozen here and stuff is boiling here. So if it was Celsius, what temperature would this be? In degrees C, we say this is zero. And in degrees Fahrenheit, we say this is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Zero C and 32 C. And when something is boiling, we, can, we know that in Celsius, this is 100 C, and this is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So with this information, we know at, at 0 degrees C, it's the same temperature as 32 degrees F. These are written in different units, but they are the same temperature. And over here, 100 degrees C, is the same temperature as 200 degrees, or sorry, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So can we establish a relationship between Celsius and Fahrenheit using this information? Let's try and see what we can find if we put this on a graph. So normally we call this X and we call this Y, but we do not have to use X and Y. I'm going to use this axis I'm going to call the Celsius axis, and this axis I'm going to call the Fahrenheit axis. So before we had 0 degrees C and 32 degrees F was our first bit of information. And we also had 100 degrees C and 212 degrees Fahrenheit was the second bit of information. Let's plot these as ordered pairs on our Celsius Fahrenheit graph. So at zero degrees C, we can write this, we can plot this as a point as zero comma 32. Sorry, zero comma 32. And for Fahrenheit, we can write this as 100 comma 212. So for our first point, use, I'll use green. First point, 0, 32. Let's just put it right about here. And 100, 212. This is 100. Then we can put our point, let's put it up here somewhere. We have two points, and for any two points, those can form a line. So now we have a linear relationship between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Interesting. Now, since we know that two points make a line, what is the equation of that line? We want to figure out an equation that relates Fahrenheit and Celsius using this form, the y equals mx plus b format. So we can, we have two points, 0 comma 32 and 100 comma 212. If this is x1 comma y1 and this is x2 comma y2, then we can use the uh, rise over run formula to calculate what the slope is of this line. 
And then the only thing left to do would be to determine what the y-intercept is. Turns out that's going to be the easy one, but I don't want to get too far ahead. So let's plug some numbers in. So if we know that slope is equal to y2 minus y1, y2 is 212, and then minus y1, which is 32, divided by x2, which is 100, minus x1, 0. This can simplify down to 180 divided by 100, and this equals 1.8. So now we know what m equals. Then all we have to do is figure out what b equals. But what is b? b is equal to the y-intercept. The y-intercept is whatever the y-value is of our function where x equals 0, which occurs right there. We already have a point for that. It's that point right there. 0, 32 is our y-intercept right here. So when if we fill this in for what we have so far, y equals 1.8 x plus b at 0 for x, when x equals 0, 1.8, 0, plus b, y equals 32, 1.8 times 0 cancels, so then we just have 32 equals b. Now we have the full equation. So now we know that y is equal to 1.8x plus 32. But I've been using y and x because that's what I'm familiar with, with the y equals mx plus b. But for this, for this equation, what was the y value and what was the x value? On our x-axis, we were using Celsius. Y value, we were using Fahrenheit. So for Fahrenheit, to calculate Fahrenheit, you would take the Celsius value, multiply it by 1.8, and add 32. Here's the equation of our line. So now what do we do with this equation? So if we know that F is equal to 1.8C plus 32, we can plot this back on our, back on our graph. I'll draw it kind of like this. Get my ruler back out. Handy little ruler. This is not quite drawn to scale, but it'll do the job. So here's here's what we have to figure out. We have to figure out since we're trying to we're trying to see where our Fahrenheit thermometer is equal to our Celsius thermometer, which means that our Fahrenheit will equal our Celsius. On a graph, this right here is an equation. It's just like thinking about the equation of y equals x. Because remember we were using the x-axis for Celsius and the y-axis for Fahrenheit. We can graph the line f equals c right on this graph. That slope is going to have a value of 1, which is going to be 45 degrees. If I use my protractor, so I'm going to graph this light line to show you that there is a point right about here where Fahrenheit equals Celsius on an actual thermometer because this line intersects the F equals C line right here. And notice how it intersects in the negative C and the negative F region. These values right here and here on a Celsius and Fahrenheit thermometer will be exactly the same. So if F equals C, now we have all, 
we can then create one equation with one unknown. Technically it's two equations. Here's the first one, f equals c, and here's our second one, f equals 1.8c plus 32, but technically it's two. I say it's, say it's really one because all we have to do is use this information to replace the c value with f. So I'm going to rewrite this 1.8f plus 32. So now what is this going to look like when we solve the equation? I'm going to subtract 1.8f from both sides. These terms cancel. So I have, whoops, I have f minus 1.8f equals 32. I can factor out the f, 1 minus 1.8 equals 32. This is negative 0.8, so I have negative 0.8f equals 32. Divide both sides by negative 0 0.08, negative 0.8 throw that in your calculator, if you can't do that one in your, quite in your head. So then we use our calculator and then we type it in. 32 divided by negative 0.8. And that equals F equals negative 40. So this means that at negative 40 degrees anything, a Fahrenheit thermometer and a Celsius thermometer show the same number. And that's our answer. And as I promised, I should, I was going to show you how to do this with a TI-89 graphing calculator. TI-89 graphing calculators have a, a lot of features. One of the a bit more basic ones that's uh, special with the TI-89, I don't think the TI 83s can do it, is it can solve equations for you. So if our equation is 1.8f plus 32, and we want to solve for f, here's the function. It's up in the F3 menu. Oh, nope, nope, sorry, algebra for solve. So it opens up the solve function. So instead of f as my unknown. I'm going to use the buttons that they have pre-programmed for simplicity. So x equals 1.8 times x plus 32. That's the end of our equation. Now the function needs you to tell it what variable you want to solve for. So you hit the comma button, hit x again because now you want to solve for it. So this says solve the function x equals 1.8x plus 32 for the variable x. Close the parentheses and hit enter. And indeed it says that x is equal to negative 40.